Hi guys, here's my primitive telecommunications device. <coughs> What's this thing? I'll fill you in. Um, down here we've got your stock 555 timer uh, set up as a, a frequency generator. Uh, that outputs to the first input of a 7404 inverter. Uh, so the first inverter outputs to this red LED. So we've got an action like a flip-flop. It's not a flip-flop, strictly speaking. It's not a memory, but it, it'll have the action of a, a flip-flop connected to a frequency generator. Um, so whenever the uh, green LED is off, the red LED is on. It switches back and forth. And we've got a, a fairly good range of frequencies. Um, over here we've got a uh, Texas Instruments H-Bridge driver, they call it a quad half H-Bridge driver, I think SN77, SN74410, if I'm wrong there I'll fix it up in an annotation on YouTube. Um, these LED outputs, um, the input for them goes to the state pins of one of the H-Bridge drivers, so they will swing back and forth between 0 and 1 with the LEDs. Um, so one of them is directly the output of the 555 and the other one is the output of the first inverter. So they're always in an opposite state, swinging back and forth. Um, the, the enable pin for that H-Bridge driver is uh, enabled. It's tied to positive permanently. The input voltage and current for the uh, H-Bridge driver comes from a separate power supply. I was going to do it all the same and just run the whole thing from 12 volts and use a 7805, but I'm out of 7805s. So at the moment I need a, a 5 volt supply here and a, and a 12 volt supply here, which is adjustable, but um, yeah, we'll call it 12 volts. Um, so at the moment the 5 volt supply is on, so the oscillator works, but the H-Bridge is doing nothing uh, because it doesn't have its power. It, it gets power for logic from the same supply, but this supply down here is for the actual the current driver for the motor power, it's meant to be connected to a motor. So I'll turn that one on now, and uh, nothing much happened because we're going very slow and also I've got it at 6 volts, I've got the, this power supply here at 6 volts, so I'm going to turn that up a little. And you can hear the phone ringer tapping slightly. And that's about 12 volts now. So now I'm going to change the frequency. So we've got a, a fairly convincing ring there, could make a, a part of an intercom. Now I'm going to crank up the voltage. So what I was doing at the end there is turning the voltage up and down. Now I'll turn the frequency back down. Now I'll leave the frequency where it is turn the voltage for this supply back up. And one more time. Now that's fairly convincing, isn't it? Turn the supply back off. So Passes it all discharge thing. Yeah, there we go. Back to the way it was when I started. So that was just a little experiment. I'll see you later.